Yo, what's up guys? Today we're going to be playing another sponsored Roblox event. However, I guess the prizes in this event are kind of cool. The event is by a company called Vita Coco, which make coconut water. So it's kind of strange that these guys are now over on Roblox, but whatever. So these are all of the prizes. I think the shoes, they're not available yet, but everything else, so the shirt and these three items, we can go ahead and get all of these. I'm going to show you guys how to get all of them in this video. So yeah, let me go and show you the event game. Here it is, Vita Coco, the coconut coconut grove so it's kind of interesting it's kind of like a coconut tree farming thing with palm trees and stuff look at this guy on the thumbnail he looks so goofy the very first prize we're gonna get is this thing the vita coco tetris what the heck is that i don't know anyway it's a bag accessory but it does cover your whole avatar so it's not lead clothing or anything like that it's just like an accessory costume let's go and get this thing first okay so let's go and get the first prize the very first thing you guys want to do is walk over to this like abandoned looking shack well it's actually a store so you want to go and talk to the guy behind the counter and you basically just want to spam next a few times you can read this if you want to but it's not really necessary once you're on the shop parts you can go and close this obviously close it by clicking the x then we're going to go outside now for some reason my game was bugged and this arrow was indicating me to go towards this like coconut throwing mini game thing however i don't know why it said that because that's not what you want to do you actually want to go over to this sort of like plot of land area yeah you pretty much want to claim your own spot so as you guys can see here, it lets me press E for claim. And then you want to plant your very own tree. So the guy in the store gave us a palm tree for free. I think it's a palm tree. But once you plant it, yeah, you get the badge, you get the prize. The first one is incredibly easy. So this is the second thing we're getting. This is the best. Like this item is actually not that bad. I have to admit, I'm not a fan of the branding on the side. They probably should have just left that off. But it's a kind of cool hood. I kind of like it. It's not bad at all. This is actually very well made. So if you guys want this for free, well, yeah, let me show how to get it it's so easy so let's go and get this thing as well for the second thing you need to open up the map and you want to go over to the volleyball mini game and you want to hold e on one of these volleyballs it should let you play this mini game here now i did fail it on the first try i'm not gonna lie but you need to click on bounce and you pretty much need to hit it in the air to get like a load of points so as you guys can see there i failed it if you do fail it don't worry you can do it again straight away and yeah i think you have to get roughly like 250 240 points that's pretty much how much I got to and then it gave me the badge so as you can see here obviously I sped up this gameplay but when the volleyball comes down you click on bounce of your mouse and your character will sort of hit it in the air again and eventually guys I got to like 230 240 points as you can see there and it gave me the badge I think it bugged because two volleyballs spawned in but whatever I still completed it now we're gonna get this one this is okay the Coco suit it's kind of similar to the first item we got like an entire costume thing so yeah let's go and get it so the third prize right i would say this one's probably the most tricky to get but it's still very simple pretty much you want to go over to this giant waterfall that you can see in the distance it's literally that massive waterfall which is coming out of the mountain so yeah obviously run through the jungle i know it's kind of like in a weird area so this prize is kind of like a secret hidden easter egg most people probably wouldn't have really noticed it but yeah anyway just carry on running eventually you will get up to it and eventually when you come across the water you want to go swimming and you want to try and get behind it now i know this footage is a bit weird i was trying to figure out how to get through the entrance but eventually i got in there it's very easy to be honest and somewhere in this cave guys there is a sort of secret room with the prize in it now i'm not gonna lie i think i did go a bit wrong when i went in straight away so was it this turning yeah this turning right here i probably shouldn't have gone this way obviously i have sped up this footage to save you guys some time but you can see this brought me to a dead end so that wasn't very good was it you've got to carry on going straight so obviously Obviously, I should have turned this way straight away. Now, if you just follow where I'm going from this point, so take a left here. Yeah, this is the right direction. It's very easy, to be honest. You can't really get lost. I would say it's like a little bit of a maze, but not really. If you keep on running for about, I don't know, a minute or so, you're going to find the prize. So here it is. It looks like some lost pirate treasure or something, but really all it is is like a coconut water drink. So go and claim it. You're going to get the badge, the item, and that's pretty much it. And the final free item for today's video anyway is the vita limited edition t-shirt oh it's not going limited though a few people probably think it is but now nah, this is not a limited item they just put limited edition in the title i don't know why it's lead clothing i don't really care about it i've got like a hundred lead clothing shirts i've never even worn once <laughs> let's go and get it anyway so the last prize probably the worst one as well i didn't really care about this but to get it you have to complete all of the mini games so the first one is the obby as you can see i completed that incredibly fast the second one is the coconut 
coconut toss, which is pretty much like one of those coconut shy things where you just throw coconuts at a bottle of water. Yeah, completed that one. Then I went on to the volleyball one, which I already played earlier. So this doesn't really matter because we've already played it, but I just thought I'd leave it in there just to show you guys it counts. Then you want to go over to the meditation zone. Oh dear, it reminds me of that aloe yoga thing. More meditating on Roblox, which is just weird, quite frankly, but there you go. That's out the way and done. So then we go on to this mini game now. I don't know what this is. Is this like, um, like bowls or something? Is that what it's called? They called it something different, like something ball. What the heck is that? I don't know. I don't know why it's got a weird name, but yeah, I failed at this one. I just didn't know how it worked, but it didn't really matter, I guess. And the final thing I had to do, guys, was run over here and there was some like seeds mini game, plant mini game. I don't really know. You have to like punch holes in a bottle and then plant seeds in it, something like that. Anyway, I got the items. Yeah, that's it. So just checking on my avatar editor and yep, I got all of the four items. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you want to. Cheers for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.